it took a couple of breaks, man. You became a third grade detective. You became a cop. A pig. A pig. That's why your buddy says uh, he believes in stopping and frisking. He couldn't even say frisk. He said frisk. Stop and That's the original Elman J. Fudd of uh, Israel. Right. Uh, Let's go to Proverbs 20, verse 23. Proverbs 20 and 23. Divers' weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Yeah, because what you're pushing in that, that meat market of yours, that shambles of yours that you call a school, is an uh, uh, un unbalanced weight. You're not, you're not, you're not weighing. You got, you got to weigh the scripture before you give it to them. Right. You got to weigh the food to see if the food is right before you give it to them. That's right. And you're not doing that, man, because you don't know, you don't know the, the scriptures, man. That's right. Now prove me a liar, man. That's right, man. Break them scriptures down that I told you to break down. And the scriptures is a balanced diet. It ain't, it ain't just all meat. You got your 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 your, your meat. You got your your uh, veggies. You can, it's a balanced diet. It's got to be cooked and seasoned right. It's got to be feeding, seasoned right. You, you feeding your people Oreo cookies, man. Yeah. And Junk. pork chops and pork chops, man. Yeah, GMO crap. GMO crap. <laughs> Monsanto. <laughs> Frankie G food. GMO crap and blue sky. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, now let's go to Jeremiah 14 and 14. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse uh, 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught and deceit of their heart. Therefore thus saith the Lord power concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword the, the land is talking about now it's being brought up to date to America. You're not teaching the, you're not teaching your congregation of zombies that America is gonna be destroyed by a throw. You might have taught it you might have touched on it here and there, but you don't you you're not building them people up for the end of this society, man. Right, right. You're getting them ready for the long haul, man. Yeah. When the masses of people come in, when this comes in, when that happens, when we get that building, and we get all that money, you sound like the guys from One West. Yeah. It says, by so... And, mate, you fell before. You're going to fall again, man. Bigger for you, like Humpty Dumpty. And they won't be able to put you back together again. That's right. It says, uh, by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. So you're going to be, if you don't get your act together, you're going to be consumed. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you guys that uh, continue to follow him, that false prophet, you're going to be consumed too. It says, and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets. Now you notice Lord. that, that's oh. the second trip that the Most High said that, man. He said something like that. Yeah. Not only is the teacher going to get jacked up, but the followers are going to get jacked up too. Yep. Right. It says, And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. That's a cut Ooh. right here. Because this guy is basically about the family, oh, yeah. family version of Hebrew Israel Israelism. Yeah. All right? Family you got guys. the pictures. With the you know family guy as well, like you got the wife, wife over there, you got the kids over there, you got yep. the crowns on your head yep. at the gatherings and them get-togethers. Yeah, like it's that, a, like that uh, uh, movie, National Lampoon. The guy was all about his family. <laughs> that's that's you guys, <laughs> family a, Israelites. It says, "For I will pour their wickedness upon them." Now give me Jeremiah twenty-three, Jeremiah twenty-three thirty-two. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 32. It says, Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. 
and that's self-explanatory. Okay. Give me Zechariah 10, verse 2. Uh, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 10, uh, verse 2. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore they went their way as a flock. Uh, they, were tri uh, they were troubled because there was no shepherd. Yeah. Notice he said they comfort in vain. You're trying to set up these food programs, trying to comfort uh, these jakes out here. That's in vain, man. Just like Yahweh I said, the poor you will always have with you. And when martial law kicks off, you're really going to see the poor multiply. You're going to be part of the poor. When that famine kicks off, you're really going to see the poor multiply. Trying to save the poor. You're an idiot, Nate. You're an idiot, man. If you don't get your act together, you're going to be a dead man. <laughs> 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 a charcoal beef jerk. And Nate, you're so goddamn easy, man. You're easy. This is light work for us, man. Okay. This is light work. Okay. Only thing you got to say is these guys are bummed and these guys ain't got this and these guys yeah. are, What the hell? Are, where in the scriptures does it say we're supposed to have a palace and all that, man? That's right. With food and like rain. they got a thing about you guys ain't got a school. First of all, we had a school up in Connecticut for, for how many years? Oh, um, eight 16 years. years? No, no, no. More oh. than that, man. Oh. From the 90s, man. Right. The main school up there was there from the early 90s. 93, 94. Yeah, about eight years. And, and you know when we got rid of that whole school thing? Yeah. After the World Trade Center went down, that's man. That's right, that's right. Yeah. That was about it. Because years. the guys, the fruit that we had in the school, they already knew the scriptures. So what the hell we had? And, we, and, and before that, we, we had kicked out all the women. Yeah. And then we put a sign up where... Close yep. to well, the general, close close to the the general, general public, public, man. Yeah. Then we had put the sign up all in Hebrew. Which then we put it up all in Hebrew, man. Yeah. Because we got all the fruit that we supposed to get. That's why, if you notice, man, Ain't no camps up there, ain't no guys up there saying GMS Connecticut, and they teaching out there. Because the guys that you mostly see among us are from Connecticut. Right. We shook the dust on them places. You notice that, man? You got GMS out there in Jersey. Oh, yeah, you got yeah, GML, yeah. GMS in Nebraska. You got GMS in Boston. Yeah. You got yeah. GMS in uh, uh, Texas, in uh, Florida, Chicago, Indiana. L.A., all over the place. Yeah. The different countries, man. But there's no guy going around saying GMS that's Connecticut right. yep. because we shook the dust off of that place, man. Yeah. And that's when we closed that school. Yeah. So like, you ain't right because you ain't got a school, man. We got, gave that fucking school up. Been there, done that. All right? That's right, brother. And where was the Howard Shire School? Well, maybe he had a school in one West Jerusalem way. Yeah. Where was his school? He was the school. Oh, when they had the Passover, did he have, did he go to, to his house? Did he have a place? He had to go get a place, and he told the disciples, "Go tell this man to give you this uh, the, upper the, the upper room and get this uh, ass ass coat, yep. and tell him that my my Lord needs it, man." That's right. That wasn't the Lord's place. That wasn't his secret lair. So you guys, you, you guys just don't get it, man. You don't get it. You yeah, just don't get it. And he, he had no, I'm sorry, sorry, brother, he had no woman at the Passover. Yep. Not right. one, all right? For those of you that, you just have to have your woman up your ass everywhere you go. Hey, well, the elect, the elect are the building. Go, man, don't worry about the elect. The, the elect are the building. That, that's the building right there. Yeah, well, he's talking about we're trying to build a, first of all, building Israel is the elect, man. That's it. The ones that, that's, that's going to make it are the elect, the chosen. It's not just any Negro going to be beamed up on the ship, yeah. dummy. When Paul said it to the Corinthians, he said, ye are the Most High's building. That's right. Ye are the Most High's husband. Well, he doesn't understand it because he's, he's a carnal <laughs> man. He thinks in a carnal manner. Uh, a man with no faith. Anyway, with that, we're going to close. And um, we'll see you all next week. I think that car front might be Lord willing. I'm going to stay right here. Okay. Shalom. Long. Matter of fact,